I'm Shakayla. I'm Caitlin. And I'm Isabella. And, and we, we are, are Mind Men. Men. To get started with our app, we first figured out what can we make that would help our, the older generation. So we looked into a couple of common feelings often found in the news and came up with the unipersona. Her name is Wendy Writers. She's 73, widowed, and she has two children and three grandchildren. And she is looking to get some help with her grief, depression, and, and her feeling isolated. In this slide, we have our list of our problem solutions and our aids, and we used those categories and conducted our user interview questions. And what we conducted the most from those user interviews is our, the fact that a lot of the people in the 65 age range feel like they have a lack of a safe space to discuss their mental health and have less of a connection to the outside world. Auditory and visual accessibility were very needed. Minimal data usage was also preferred. So MindMed offers the solution in many ways, including offering incentivized education on mental health care through coupon offers of a customer variety. This includes entertainment, movie theaters, bath bombs, etc. It also creates a communal space to share both struggles and accomplishments within mental health in order to try to combat the often debilitating isolation that can come with an older age. We also offer accessibility not often found in the mental health application field, despite the sensitivity of the field itself. In terms of prototypes, we have a couple different periods of progress here. First, we have our paper prototype in which we were really in the very beginning phases of bouncing around features. We didn't really have a clue what it was going to look like. After that, we created a jam board to try to wireframe exactly what we were going to need, where we were going to need it, and everything like that. Then we created a PowerPoint presentation, which really kind of acted as our first proper prototype to really kind of get a grip of what we wanted to do. Finally, we got to our final product. Opening the app, you'll see this screen here, and then you'll be asked what language you'd like to use. After that, you can go into login or sign up. For the sake of the process showing you all the features, we're going to act as if this is the first time we've opened the app. Immediately, you're going to be asked what screen colors you would like to use. In order to be fully accessible, you can fully pick your theme. Every color is represented in this here, and the logo is adjustable as well. After that, you'll be asked to pick your text size through this slider here. And immediately after that, you'd be asked to pick your screen color. Then, once you get to this page, you'll be asked a few other options, mainly audio related, including text-to-speech options, caption options, option descriptions, which would simply, if you hovered or held onto a button, explain to you what that button would take you to. After that, all you have to do is search up a few preferences and keywords just so we can get a sense of what you are looking for. This would be adjusted with an algorithm over time based off of what things you hit and you recommended, what things you saved, and etc. Then finally, you're asked to pick your incentive style. This would be either body care coupons such as bath bombs, entertainment deals such as movie tickets, and even something as simple as groceries and other necessities. Then finally, you're taken to your home page in which you'll find your task bar, your coupons, and your chats. In order to edit your tasks or mark them as completed, you can either hit the circle in order to indicate that you're done, save, or you can hit edit straight away and add new tasks. Then you go to our coupons, which would function like a carousel. And after that, you scroll down and you can get to your chat. An example of a chat could be found in Coping with Illness, where there are currently 21 active. Upon hitting it, you would come across a generally averaged text box. And then we can go on to settings. First, going back to accessibility, you would be able to edit and adjust anything you adjusted in the first thing. Then going back to settings, you can go to your search tool which, in which you can find any chats, articles, and hopefully eventually modules that you might be looking for. After that, you can go to your account, which would still be in the beta stages, but eventually you can go through and you can follow other people and chats you find that you want to create friends with in order to greater create that community. And with as easy of a click as hitting the home pay text or the sign out text, both things would be done. Sign out takes you right back to that login or sign up screen. 
homepage, taking you right back to 